started out doing Johnny Ray impersonations at Leichhardt Police Boys Club and various other places. You know, he was a bit of a scrawny kid, a little bit rough, and I think fully realising that one day he'd have a hit record like So Tough. Well, the mid-50s and he was an up-and-coming star. <laughs> Visiting American acts soon found that out. You know, he made it almost impossible for them to follow him on stage at the Sydney Stadium. <laughs> Remember when he'd sing Shout? Yeah. Well, came the late 50s and he was still going strong. Then in June of 1960, boy, things really started going wrong. He was nearly killed in a shocking car smash. He needed over 60 stitches in his face and then nervous breakdowns became almost commonplace. But like the trooper he was, he rode out the storm and but then came the 70s and as an entertainer a star was reborn. And another so-called comeback, I think this was the third. And then came 1974 and another hit. You remember Mockingbird? He used to say that what kept him coming back for more was the famous quote that all life is an experiment and the more experiments you make the better. So what if you do get kicked down in the dirt and trodden upon? Get up and fight back because you'll never fall as hard again. Well, he certainly lived life like that and at all times he showed tons of sincerity. And as an example of what I mean, you'd have to hear and see him sing. Hey, do you remember his beautiful version of the great country song? Just a closer walk with thee. Just a closer walk with thee. You know, for 25 years or so, he was at the top and never really knowing how to slow down, let alone stop. But on October the 6th, 1978, at the age of 43, he died and became part of our musical history. Johnny O'Keefe, I thank you for all of your friendship and all of your help. And when I listen to your unforgettable songs like Move Baby Move and She's My Baby and Sing 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 I know I speak for everyone You'll always be the king Baby.